Hi there everyone, how you doing and welcome along to Pure Boz Presents. Once again, um, I'm in my car, it's Wednesday night and we are heading along to vlog um, what should be a magnificent match between Drumchapel United and Johnston Borough. Let's go. So, we're Keeney Park bound guys. Um, official West of Scotland Football League first division match between Johnston Borough and Drumchapel United. This is, it's got to be a cracker surely. It sounds like a cracker, probably one that you'd be wanting to get played later on in the season. However, it's match day two. Uh, we are about a mile away from Keeney Park and um, we're hoping for an absolute belter tonight. Johnston Borough, um, well documented on social media recently with their signings of Kyle Lafferty and Graham Dorans, both ex-Rangers players. Um, and they've also strengthened with a plurova of West of Scotland Premier League talent and the likes of Gaza, Stu McCann, uh, Hamish McKinley um, and more as well. Um, also holding on to some of their better players from last season as well. Um, Jai B and Hopi at Drumchapel United, um, they'll probably feel aggrieved that they're not in the Premier Division um, already, losing out two years ago um, in promotion by a goal. Um, and last year were they were they were a fantastic team last year, but they just missed out in promotion again. Is it going to be third time lucky? Well, the story's to be told. It the story's still to be told. We are about half a mile from Keeney Park. We're going to get parked up and get inside, and we'll see you soon.
Jamie, the Drumshire United, uh, the visitors to Keeney Park uh, this evening. A few people would, would probably be saying they'd like to have seen this game later on in the season, um, but it's match day two and it, it's here. Um, how are you going about tonight's match, mate? I'm one of the people. I'm, uh, Aye. I'd have preferred it a couple of my weeks. Listen, we're, we're obviously still a very new team. Uh, loads, I think we made 16 signings in the summer. Uh, so it's, it's difficult to become a team that quickly and obviously Drumtrap are a top team they, they play some really good stuff I've seen a lot of them last year and all the boys that they brought in so I'm expecting a really tough one if I'm being honest especially I think uh, they were total football last year and I think they became a, lot, a bit more direct this year uh, and I think that makes them a bit more dangerous if I'm being honest so it's going to be a really tough game for us I think against a top opponent Echoing what I, what I asked your, your management counterpart um, Drumchapel and uh, Johnson Burrow probably been hotly tipped to go up this season yep. um, would you probably have taken this game maybe further down the line and maybe not so soon no no I don't I don't think so um, no uh, listen we take every game one at a time um, I will treat this game no different we would treat Nielsen at the weekend or Peters Hill Mabel Cowan and whoever it may be every game just clean slate let's go and try and win the game um, Keeney Park uh, notoriously a hard place to come and play football. It's a hard place for Johnson Borough to play football at times, but looking around, um, the pitch is looking very, very good. Is it going to be your hands? Uh, I, I definitely think so. And uh, Jamie, to be fair to Jamie, Jamie's probably one of the, the managers in the west of Scotland that kind of welcomed me into this level of football. And I speak to Jamie a lot. And um, I said to the boys before the game, never mind what they've added this season. I mean, you could go on about who they've added. They've added unbelievable signings but even without them coming to Kenny Park's a tough place to come no matter what the circumstances so uh, it's got the makings of a good game it's early doors in the season and we'll just see who wins on the night Hope, um, like you said it's got the makings to be a cracker mate good luck thanks mate thanks well cheers man Ten minutes into um, Johnson Borough versus Drum Chapel. Uh, quite an itchy pitchy start. No, uh, no uh, chances notable um, at this moment in time. Um, as uh, the ball gets punted up the park, just back to the keeper. <laughs> Oh, 
Second half just started. Um, Johnson Borough won, Drum Chapel nil. Kieran Brophy's goal separating the two teams. Um, five minutes into the second half, there's not actually um, there's not actually been much in the game. Um, quite a quite a bit of a, a tussle between the two. <laughs> It's actually a really good spell of football uh, for the jump chapel at the moment, trying to get their, their foothold in the match, maybe maybe try and push the borough and go and get themselves an equaliser. That's a great save by the way, great save. Hamish McKinley makes it two. What a goal that is, by the way. Who's that? Hey, Kevin Fell, eh? What a boy. That's a great goal. For a two, Drum Chapel one. Five or so minutes to go, lads. A couple of minutes to go, Drum Chapel have got themselves a wee goal. That's a quality strike. I thought it was quite an even game if I'm being honest. I thought um I thought we were good. I, I thought we, we attacked well, we defended well, and to be fair to Drum Chapel, I thought the second half they were probably the better side where I thought we shaded the first. Um overall, I'm happy with the result. Aye, I think. Again, um we obviously we tried to exploit a wee bit with the drum going two up. Uh, we tried to exploit a wee bit in the wide areas and I thought in the first half we got a bit of joy with that. Um but second half, as I said, I thought we would have came in more into the game, but that didn't quite happen. I thought we became a bit stretched. But I think you're right. Um, it was quite an even game and I'm just delighted that we came away with the points because in the end um, that's, that's what matters to us especially at this stage when we're, we're still a new team Got to, to be honest leaving with nothing I don't think I don't think we merited to leave Kenny Park with nothing to be honest with you I, I wouldn't have said there was many chances in the game uh, first first 25 minutes before Johnston Borough scored I thought we were on top there wasn't much play on their side of the pitch uh, and then we obviously can see the goal from a set piece, a rebound, a bit of a ricochet in the box, and Brophy's uh, quick to react and he puts it in the net. And then after that, we kind of lost our way a wee bit. And uh, Big Lafferty had a couple of uh, wonder strikes and been unlucky not to score. Um, and Borough probably 
the, the last 15, 20 minutes of the first half probably were a wee bit dominant, I felt. Uh, second half, again, I, I don't really remember much play in our half of the pitch. Second half. Aye. Right, you just you just looked, I thought we became really five. stretched. I know. Well, first 20, I thought, oh, all right. But you, when you just got the goal, I thought you just kind of came and Two goals are a bit quality, to be fair. But the boy Ross McKenzie's. The that in there for the second one with Ross McKenzie. Ross has got that See, be fair, so I, I, I got Scully on camera, he goes down there, it looks like he goes in slow motion. Like, it honestly does, it looks like he goes in slow motion. Is it right in the corner? Aye, it looks I like it. But I, I thought, I, him, I just think yeah. we were, I never said, but see before the game, we were hanging a wee bit in terms of injuries, you know, and I thought when that happened the second half, I'm going, I wanted to take Brophy earlier, because I think he looked a bit leggy, and I'm going, if I bring him off and we get another injury, I'm using my final fucking stoppage the longer it goes, but I thought you looked fit. Hi folks, how you doing? Just back in the car, um, having left Keeney Park, Johnston Borough 2, Drumchapel United 1. I think um, over the 90 minutes and the balance of play, that's probably probably the, the, the right result. Um, Jamie McKim spoke to him just before, um, absolutely ecstatic to get three points. Spoke to Hopi, disappointed obviously. Um, but he can be proud because his, his drum chapel players played well. Um, uh, rallied a bit towards the end. Um, Kevin Fell scored a cracker um, on 91 minutes. Um, and it's, it's just about maybe trying to go and, and push for that equaliser. Um, drum chapel move on to Saturday where they play Glen Cairn. Uh, hope he'll be hoping to, to put three points on the board again. Um, myself, we are taking a wee break on Saturday. Myself and wee Louie boy. Uh, we are going to go and take in St Caddox versus come up, go and see a few familiar faces. And the week of is back next week. We, Pure Boys presents the week of Beath as they prepare for their Scottish prelim tie against Carnoustie Panmuir. We'll be there to cover all the action. We'll be at training, we'll be at the game. We might even be on the bus, who knows. But uh, thanks very much for tuning in again, guys, and we'll see you soon.